to Coding Gameology. Today we're going to be making a game about Fifi playing Slapjack. Okay, but I'm going to want to show you a video of her playing it first. Okay, let's watch. Did you see that she went, she was angry at the end? <laughs> okay, so let's, let's demonstrate the game. So the game, in order to win, you need to be the one on the top after 20 seconds. The dog barks every time you move his hand. Okay. Okay, five, three, two, one. Oh, I lost. Okay, let's start making it. So let's start with the backdrop. So how did I draw this backdrop? Well, for the first backdrop we're gonna want is just the no, default backdrop or the backdrop where our, our two hands play. Our second backdrop is just gonna be one with the winner is or what is our winner or whatever. Just st stating it and then you can kind of switch the default backdrop here a little bit. Okay, now in order to play Slapjack, we're gonna need two hands. In this case, I have the D Fifi's hand and the cat's hand. Now how do I do it? All we simply do is go get a cat or dog sprite and then, you see, I'm gonna go get a dog sprite. And then I'm just gonna cut off its hand. See, that's still pretty simple. Our cat is harder. Well, it's still pretty simple. It's still the same way. Just cut off its hand. Or leg or whatever. Anyways, now that we have this, we're going to have to make them increasingly big. So I have like a thousand. Like, it's pretty big. And then our last... Now you see that in the backdrop, we only have the winner is. Now, in order to like completely 100% do it, we're gonna need a sprite that's cat and then says dog. So the winner is cat or a good canine or whatever you're gonna write there. Okay, now that we have these, we're gonna want to go and start coding. So I'm gonna start with my dog hand, but you can watch this from any order you want. Or like you can just skip to cat two and then come back to dog one. So this is a very simple game. Like, we only have a few blocks, so I think we should, like, just focus. I'm going to talk more slowly about these blocks. So, the when start flat click, it's going to show. It's going to set a timer. We just created it. We're going to create the timer to 20. Now, you're probably wondering, hey, hey, why are you using this? There's this timer thing over here. Well, the problem with that is it kind of gets confusing and it only increases itself. Like, so it's kind of like a stopwatch. I'm setting a, a variable timer. And I'm just going to, like, this variable timer is going to be 20. And then we're going to, like, wait one second and then minus the timer. So forever, if touching the mouse pointer and the mouse is down so this is like just when it's clicked at any time then we're going to glide 0 0.1 seconds to 8 to 10 so you're probably wondering why it's when the dog glides like over i'm just going to have a, a go to block like you can add this a go to to its default position this will help it in some scenarios like i'm just showing you right now so this is just a little practice this block now we're gonna get a 10 so this the first glide is going here the second glide is going back to its default position now i'm gonna play this echoing thing so start and play sound dog one so i like this as these two kind of make a good echo like it sounds like the dog barks and then suddenly the wind come. When start it's gonna show it's gonna repeat twenty times. Wait one second and then it's gonna change the timer by negative one. 
So this is the timer. And then when it, um, okay. When it repeats 20 times, when that is finished, we're gonna broadcast stop all. So it basically stops everything. Stop all the script and sprite, hide. When start repeat until zero equal timer, we're gonna place down the clock ticking. Of course, this doesn't like sound very good when with all the other music, but I guess it's pretty much okay. Now, when start forever, place down Dilo two. So don't ask me about like music stuff, but I think they like it. It's okay because it can cover the dog and cat barking. Okay, now we finished the dog one sprite. We finished the dog. Now let's go to like the cat. Now the cat is like way less than the dog, like only like two giant blocks. So yeah. So let's see. Let me tell you that this is very valuable information. The thing we just coded, the dog, was our player. The cat too is our AI. So it needs this like way less code. When I receive stop all. So the message that gave, the dog gave us, it's gonna stop all the strips and bright, hide, hide variable timer, and hide variable top. When, when start click, we're gonna show variable top, show variable timer, show, go to 8899, the default position, wait 0 0.1 seconds, glide 0 0.1 seconds to its drawing position, and then go back to its original position. Set the top to cat, and then okay. Now that we're gonna we're gonna go back and we're gonna set the top to dog. When so when this is done, it's gonna set the top to dog. Why? I'm gonna explain it more deeply. I mean, setting the top to any of these just basically means that we're doing we're on the top. This uh, depends on our winner. So the person on the person on the top gets this winner thing. When I receive stop all, it's gonna show switch costume to top, play sound top. So yeah, I have, you're probably wondering, I have one called cat, one called dog. So the winner. And then I have dog, dog sound. And then the cat sound. And then these are in here. So the winner. Okay, yeah, because the top is dog now. Okay, and then the one starts getting high. Okay, congratulations, we have created a very fun, a very fun game called Slapjack. Now that we just created it, yeah, you probably, it's a very familiar game. I think we should test it out. Thank you for watching and coding with me today. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that subscribe button before you go. See ya in my next video. If you like Fifi, you can also follow her IG.